What's going on guys and welcome on in today we got an exciting update for Fribbles gear optimizer if you don't know what that is I did a previous video it is a program that takes all your gear puts it into a database and allows you to quickly and efficiently search for every single combination of stats and sets that you might ever need you can lock them onto your heroes and organize them all neatly so that you're not taking gear from anyone else you can quickly and seamlessly add new gear to the database and click a scan and find better and better gear better combinations better stats unless you have an elon musk galaxy level brain this can help you out a ton. It'll help you min-max all the stats you need, keep them neatly organized, and help you working and improving your account. So check out that video if you want to see the basics. In this video, we're going to cover another installation guide. I had a lot of people have some success running it. A lot of people had success running it, um, but I'll show exactly how to install it because I think my last guide, you know, I didn't follow. Uh, I could be could have been a little bit more clear. So I'll show you step by step on what I did. I do have a thing, few things pre-installed, but I'll cover exactly what I went through. Um, and yeah, hopefully it all works on recording. Um, after that, we'll do a we'll do the scan. So, guys, the new feature for this instead of having to upload all your screenshots, Fribbles added a automatic scanning. Uh, basically, it's gonna find. All your gear without having to upload any screenshots he said it works in under a minute or less let's test and see if it's accurate and um, if that's actually true i think every single one of y'all should try it now there's going to be a few disclaimers it is an auto scanning feature um, from a open source program so use at your own risk i'll go into more of that later you don't have to use it i'll still have a guide here on if you want to just do your up upload your own screenshots and be more safe but i'm going to be testing it i've had a lot of people already use this to some success just make sure you use at your own risk but we'll test that on stream and then we'll showcase one hero on how it works okay so let's get on with the video and uh let's start with the installation process okay so i'm gonna have all the links for you in the description below we're gonna want version 1.5 of uh, fribbles here's the reddit post i'll have that down below um click the github page on uh, the getting started so let's start here before we even look at the auto scan feature for those of you that may have already had fribbles installed from last time you watched my video this time around let's just start from scratch i'm going to be starting from scratch um because i want to reset everything get it all clean and optimized if you already have your thing set up and just want the new version of the new scan feature just skip ahead but i'll start from the beginning for all the new new people wanting to try this out so first things first, guys, I have this all pre-installed, um, but on the releases page, we want to choose the re latest release and download the file that looks like Fribble's E7 Optimizer. So you're going to click this link here. It's going to bring you to this page, and you're going to scroll to the very bottom, okay? GitHub can be a little bit confusing on what you need, so make sure you click the Fribble's E7 Optimizer 1.5 for Windows. If you have Mac, there's a section on Mac, but since I use Windows, a lot of my viewers use it. This is going to be a Windows-exclusive tutorial. All right, so download the Fribbles E7 Optimizer. Just don't download any of the source code stuff. If you don't, if you don't know what you're doing, just go for the Fribbles E7 Optimizer for Windows. After that, install a Java 8 64-bit. He has a link to it directly here. Do not skip this step, guys. This is what a lot of people had issues with on the last video, on the last install. Get the offline installer, Fribble says, and then restart your PC. So Java 8 64-bit. Make sure you get that. Restart your PC. You're gonna have to restart your PC one more time um, for the auto scan portion. Uh, after that, Fribbles is saying he likes to use LD Player. We'll be using BlueStacks, and even though he said he, you know, there's some issues with it, I've had success with it on stream, and a lot of people that use BlueStacks have it, have had a lot of success as well. So give it a try. But if you're not sold on BlueStacks or if you're not partial to it, um, he's saying LD, Mimu, and Nox have been having much more success. Be careful of Nox, though. Do your own research on that one. Um, okay, let me go ahead and show you guys the next step, which is setting the in-game options. So recap. Real fast on the ins installation, releases page, go to the very bottom, get the Windows E7 Optimizer zip, Java 864-bit after that, link is right there, get the offline installer, restart your PC, and then open up your emulator, whichever one you want. Now, here's where we need more settings that make sure these are accurate for both the screenshot and the auto scan. We're going to go into first the emulator settings, so not in the in-game settings. You check your emulator on this on blue stacks we're gonna go in the display and make sure we're on 1600 by 900 that is the default but some of y'all may have swapped to 1920 by 1080 just make sure you're on 16 by 9 save it okay click that save if it's not after that we want to go into the in-game settings right so you click the top right the blue square go to the cog wheel and then we're gonna to go to game settings 
settings and make sure high quality support is on turn off low quality mode because that's going to interfere with the with the you know the the program's image searching and guys to be honest if you just want the optimal settings on what i run keep that stuff unchecked anyways high quality support on for emulators and everything else off after that, this is also very important. Make sure your game settings are in English. I don't think Fribbles specifically stated if it needs to be the language or the text, but go ahead and just make sure both are on English. If you like to prefer, if you prefer to run your language in Japanese or Korean, whatever have you, change that after. But for the scan portion or the screenshot updating portion, just make sure it's on English and you can change it back later. Okay. So, recap: sixteen by nine hundred. Uh, high quality support and then make sure you're on English all right so that's it for the emulator settings now let's move on with the actual optimizer and the actual scan see if it works okay guys let's go ahead and test the installing or the automatic gear importer um, beforehand we have all our stuff up above that you just installed with me go ahead if you want the automatic gear importer if you don't need this go ahead and skip this skip this section skip ahead but if you want to use the automatic gear scanner Install Python 3.9 using the Windows 64-bit option and Fribbles gave us a direct download link here. Uh, make sure when you're installing this, I just went through it just a second ago. Um, click the, you'll just see an option at the very beginning, guys. You can't miss it at the bottom that says add Python to path. If you don't see it, just restart the install or don't install it. Find that in the setup section. Make sure that's selected while you're installing Python, okay? After that, install MPCAP 1.1 for Windows. Another dirt download, download link this time he said. Just use the default settings so you can just keep clicking next after you pick your directory. Now here's the part where I said you need to restart one more time. I'll let y'all do that real fast and then come back to see me, okay? So I already did all this. Python 3.9, make sure you have the uh, add Python to path option selected in the box. Then NP cap, default settings, restart your PC. Now, with all that done, I know it was a lot guys, but hopefully you just followed step by step and it should work flawlessly. We'll see for sure. In just a second so we have our game or emulator we extracted it somewhere let's go ahead and open it now the fribbles e7 optimizer i like to run everything as, as admin um just making sure it runs as smooth as possible um okay so we have the instructions here we installed we did the requirements from the instructions above got it leave your emulator open and close e7 so once you change your settings right the high quality um and game mode to english language to english let's go ahead and close e7 he says see the instructions one more time um, it says click start scanning so the scan section will be in the importer okay so we're gonna go ahead and click start scanning it says started scanning and open epic 7 and load into the lobby all right guys let's see what happens hopefully it runs pretty smoothly i think it said it takes 30 seconds to a minute um, we'll see how flawless it is um and hopefully it just works really smoothly that way a lot of y'all don't have to worry about the screenshots and i really really want you all to start using this program it's just so easy to get all units as efficient as possible keep them organized and continue to grow and become more powerful on your gear all right so we loaded into the lobby let's go ahead and click stop scanning it says reading items this may take up to 30 seconds data will appear here at Finish scanning 623 items. Guys, that took less than, what, three seconds? I, I couldn't even finish reading what it was telling me. Um, but this looks in line to what we had beforehand. I think last time I did the video, I had about 550 items or something. So, yeah, after, after all the hunt events and stuff, this seems uh, appropriate. Seems accurate. We'll click OK. Um, after that, it says import the gear text. Oh, no, I'm sorry. Wait for 30 seconds and click export to save it to a gear text. OK, so export. Save it to gear text. And it's defaulting to Fribble Optimize optimizer saves that sounds fine and then import the gear text into our game or into our program here so we do replace since we're starting from scratch guys if you were building upon an older version or something you would use one of these other options but since we're starting from scratch we do replace data with gear.txt so we'll load that up and imported 623 items all right guys let's see if it actually worked uh look into my gear here it looks like it did. All this gear is built in. Um, you know, I can't recognize all my gear exactly, but I bet you if I just sorted by score, yeah, like th this is exactly this the items that you know I have in my game. And as y'all as y'all saw, this was from scratch. It took for me less than three seconds. You know, depending on your PC, it might take longer. That's why I think he said adjust for 30, 30 seconds. But oh my goodness, that is extremely extremely smooth. Now keep in mind, guys, that was an auto scan. 
real quick disclaimer um do your own research use at your own risk i trust fribbles he hasn't given us any reason not to trust them but just in case you can just manually upload your screenshots if you don't want to give this program you know the the access to scan your e7 files i don't believe it scans anything else but like i said use it at your own risk do your own research but i'll be using it if you want to check in with me in a, in a couple weeks and see if my account has been stolen or anything i don't think it will be i'm using it right now uh, but yeah you can use me as a as a safety test okay so let's move on and go ahead and give it a sh uh, give it a test run I'll show you exactly how it works and why I think you should be using it. So last time in my last video, I think I tested an RB. We got him to really high offensive stats. Let's go ahead and add a new hero and let's pick. Um, let's pick Fairytale Tenebria. Someone that I don't think I have geared at the moment because I've been swapping her and Cerise's gear. This will help me out. We'll do it on. We'll do it live on this recording with y'all. And um, yeah, let me show you how exactly how it works. So first things first, if you're starting from scratch, you want to click the hero that we want to start with. We are doing F10. -E. We're gonna had we're gonna have to add new hero, click it, and then here's the important part: add bonus stats. Now this is in the new feature. This wasn't in the last version, but now we can just search up and on my F10. -E, let's go ahead and find it real fast. I believe I have on Sierra Ren, but we'll double check. Ice Mages, Fairy Tail Tenebria. We have plus thirty Sierra Ren and a self imprint. So keep that in mind, guys. Whenever you're loading up your unit. On the bonus stats, make sure you add this in. It'll help the optimizer pick the perfect gear. Um, but we have Sirin at plus 30. As you know, artifacts come with stats. It already has that adjusted. And then imprint is A rank effectiveness. I don't think, I don't know why we would ever need this. No EE. I don't know any other stats besides exclusive equipment, imprint, and the artifact. If you guys know, leave it in the comment section below. But I don't know what else would this would be for. Maybe Fribbles wrote it somewhere. So we click OK. We have Fairy Tail Tenny saved with her. Bonus stats, let's go actually into the, the money maker, the fun part, the optimizer, okay? Now guys, um, this is where the, the magic happens. I'll sh quickly show you, this is where though, my guide is just to get you guys off the ground and running, installed, and maybe why you should run it. But this, there are so many features, so many options, so many advanced things you can do. I'm gonna show you what I like to do, but you guys need to come by the stream and teach me how to run this even better because I'm not the most tech savvy person. I like to keep things simple. If y'all show me even better tips on how to run this, hey, please be my guest. So we got F10. -E. Let's go ahead. I want her at 270 speed. And I do think in this meta, guys, I need immunity on her. Adjust the speed, whatever you guys want for where I'm at. I think 270 sounds not too strict, but also good enough. And then I want to put her on speed set, of course, because I don't think we hit 270 without speed set. So Four piece speed, two piece immunity. Um, this section here, guys, is showing the top percent. And Fribbles has his own guide or, or recommendations. I'll show you what I like to do. This is gonna cover the top 30% of gear. I wanna lower this to like top 20 because I want my Fairy Tail Tenebria to be very, very good. I think she's that strong. Um, since I want 270 speed, we'll adjust that to three. What else, guys? Let's just say 12,000 HP and 1,200 defense, which is not a lot, but that's more than just, you know, having like a crit damage, crit chance neck on, and attack rings just for pure speed. Give her a little bit of survivability. That plus immunity, I think she'll be okay, even if she doesn't go turn one. Um, for some things. After that, I don't think we need any of the other stats. Oh, effectiveness. Uh, in this meta, effectiveness has been changing, but since she's very, very reliant on debuffs, I think a lot of people build her still 150 plus. Let's say 125 plus, okay? Because you do get more effectiveness, and not everyone's running crazy high ER, rays, Liliuses, and things like that, yeah? We'll do 125 for now. Okay, I think we have it all set up. Let's do, let's go HP and defense at 1. This kind of is just the substat priority uh, ratios, or uh, weighting, and then effectiveness. I think at 2, right? 125 would be like a 2. So highest speed, a little bit of HP and defense, and then effectiveness. Top 20% of our gear that we just imported in less than 3 seconds. Now we click start. Oh, real fast. Go ahead and leave all these options unselected, guys, besides use reforge stats if you want it. Um, I'll show you when we lock f 10 -E after on why you might need these, but just keep them unlocked for now or unchecked for now. Let's click start and see what happens. So, what did I say earlier about the Elon Musk brain, guys? Unless you can parse 580,000 permutations. Um, not No, wait, is that 80 million? Oh, my God. Unless you can do that many permutations and search results, guys. Go ahead and just download this optimizer right now. Okay, so 500 results at 270 plus speed. Now, here's what I like to do. 
Um, let's go ahead and sort first by the top end speed, 280. Okay, so the highest we can do is 280, given these recommendations from the gear. Maybe I could have pushed it higher if I lower my, my HP and defense requirements or effectiveness requirements. But this has everything we want, 280 speed at 12k, 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 1200, and uh, 139 effectiveness. Now let's say I want her even, I want the most tankier version of all these results at the highest speed. I sort by effective HP, which is a combination of scoring defense and HP. And then let's pick the highest speed one as we go down. Uh, 278 right here. So this one is the, we lose sp two speed, but we get a lot more effective HP. And I think I want to settle for this right now. Um, the gear looks good. We'll go ahead and click equip. And then we're going to press lock. And now, guys, as you can see here, our F Tenebria is locked on that gear. I just searched up. It is saved to her and locked. So now when I search up a new hero, let's say I want to do three snacks because they share a lot of similar gear. Um, if I don't have locked items or equipped items selected, the, the program will automatically not search for these gears that we saved to F10. So extremely, extremely good for saving gear um, and making sure that when you pick new items, it's not going to be stolen or taken from other units. Now, of course, if you have a new hero that you want the best of the best, go ahead and just, you know, make sure it's stealing from locked and equipped as well. But guys, amazing program just got even even better hopefully the walkthrough worked for y'all um if you have any additional questions just make sure you, when you're watching the video have fribbles page open refer to my video just follow along what i was doing i apologize i couldn't show you the exact installs um live because there was a lot of restart portions it just would have taken forever but i literally just did what the thing said i showed most of it on stream or on recording and as y'all saw, blue stacks, the auto, the auto scan worked flawlessly. One more time, use the auto scan at your own risk. I'll be using it. I've, I've talked to a lot of people and they said it feels safe to them, but always be accountable for your own actions. Make sure, you know, you know what you're getting into. And um, if you don't feel safe, just go ahead and use the screenshot portion still. But the program is getting constantly updated. A big shout out to Fearbills. I ha I'll have all his links as well as how to support him in the description below. And with that being said, guys, let me know how it's been working out for you guys. I'll be getting all this list updated soon. And uh, with that, yeah, I think we'll stop here. Thank you so much for watching. I'll catch y'all in the next one. Peace out, guys.